Hi everyone, in this video um, I'm going to teach you how to learn your solubility rules really easily and my name's Shopa. So the way I remember solubility rules is to think of someone sagging his or her pants. Please never sag your pants, nobody appreciates it and we'd much rather not see you like that. But anyways, this mnemonic does come in handy and this image does come in handy when you need to learn solubility in chemistry. So. The way to remember all the molecules or substances that are always soluble, you think of NAGSAG, always soluble elements, NAGSAG, I mean molecules. So the way to remember NAGSAG is to remember that whenever you sag your pants, somebody's going to nag you. So the N in NAGSAG stands for nitrates, NO3 minus, the A for acetates, C2H3O2 minus, and G for group 1 the group 1 metals such as lithium and sodium and many more. S is for sulfates, which is SO4 minus 2. A is for ammonium, NH4 plus. And lastly, of all the soluble ones, group 17 non-metals such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and more. Even though I told you that these elements and molecules are always soluble, I lied because there are two specific groups that are exceptions. Now the very first group I like to call PMS, and it's very easy to remember, just three letters. And the P stands for PB plus two, which is lead. The M stands for mercury, diendehomic mercury, HG2 plus two. The S for silver, AG plus. And the second exception, or before I go on to the second exception, I'm just gonna make things easier for you and put a nice magenta asterisk next to PMS, and then put magenta asterisk next to the sulfates, and group 17 nonmetals because PMS is never soluble with the sulfates or the group 17 nonmetals. Now let's move on to the second and final exception. This exception is called castorware. Castorware. And castorware, the reason it's given that name is because it's calcium, strontium, and barium, all from the alkaline earth metal group. And castorware is never soluble with sulfates. So you see that beautiful neon green asterisk next to castor bear? Well, we're also going to put one next to the sulfates because it's never soluble with the sulfates. And I suppose since now we know two exceptions to NAGSAG, NAGSAG's not always soluble, but it's almost always soluble. Good luck with your solubility!